Hey guys, welcome back to the CARF L39 Skygate build video series. If you guys have any questions, comments, make sure you list them below. I'll do my best to answer them. Also, if you have not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. When you hit the subscribe button, also hit the bell and you'll be notified of new videos from this build. Um, also, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and thanks so much for tuning in. All right, guys, so the uh, left wing is, hi Luna, is essentially done um, for the most part. The uh, flap's done, aileron's done. I uh, just need to put this um, access plate on. <clears throat> the wires are run the proper direction. Uh, we've got the string in there for uh, running the lines for the uh, the light um, the uh, channel is made for the marker lights which is there and that is essentially this wing so the last thing I'm gonna do here tonight is put the access panel screws in and then I think from there what I'm gonna do is uh, mix up some epoxy and finish coating the uh, inside of the uh, the airframe. Um, the reason I can't finish the lights is because I put the uh, that flange on this light and I need to wait for the high salt to cure, which will be tomorrow. And then I can't put the uh, the marker light in until I put the the cap in and everything goes in at one time just to pull the the wires through. So that is basically the uh, the second wing. Obviously goes way better, uh, way quicker than the first wing did. Um, just because everything's laid out already, right? Makes it a lot easier, so. Um, anyways, um, that's the wings. All right, guys, the left wing is all complete other than the gear mounting. Um, the marker light is on and installed. The tip light's on and installed. The reflector's on. And that's basically the left wing. Wires are all run. And uh, again, just waiting on the gear. So that's it. Both wings are complete at this point, up uh, as far as we can go. Um, the other thing I started doing last night is this section here got all treated. And um, so that's all covered with a thin layer of epoxy and uh, started on the, uh, the main fuselage section. I got up to about here, so I got all the fuel, fuel mounting plate area done or the fuel tank plate area done uh, before my uh, material started curing. So that's where we're at right now. Uh, wings are complete and moving on to the next step. All right, guys, the next step in the manual is the flap fairings. So these pieces here. Um, now the kit comes with multiple pieces. So the largest size pieces are for the underside for the speed brake, along with those two. So we're gonna set those aside. And then the uh, flap fairings come with a longer piece and a shorter piece, just like that. Now when these pieces, I've already cut them, but uh, basically I've cut these little sections out, okay? And there is lines on the pieces. You might be able to see in the reflection there. So you can see where the molding changes. Um, so that's where you wanna cut the, uh, the pieces to fit. So I've already cut all four of the flap um, fairings. There's two on uh, per wing. So these ones still need to be sanded, uh, but I've sanded the other two for the uh, the left wing. Okay, now one of the things the manual points out here, and hopefully we can pick this up on the camera, um, the joint needs to be very, very tight. Um, the way you glue this is you mix up some uh, epoxy with some micro balloons, you put it inside there so it's gonna be fairly thick. I'm sure high sol might work, but it doesn't really flow, so maybe high sol is not a good idea. Anyways, you put micro balloons in there, um, and when you flip it over, the epoxy micro balloon mix uh, rolls down, 
and glues itself to the wing. So if you've got any spaces there, um, it's going to come oozing out. So I've sanded this pretty stinking good. It's pretty tight. So that's the longer one goes towards the inside of the wing. And then the shorter one goes towards the wing tip. So that one looks really, really good. And then that side. There's a little break at the front there, but I think we'll, we'll be okay. So that's the first uh, left wing fairings. So uh, I'm probably going to glue those on and we'll see how this all, uh, all works out. I've still got to sand these other ones. So what I did to cut this is I just took a pair of scissors and um, trimmed as much as I could. It's pretty tough to trim the front and the back of these because they get quite a bit thicker and uh, you're just going to end up destroying this. So it's easier to cut that piece out and then just use a sander. I was using my mouse sander and then just uh, obviously the sander's on and just trimming the, the front and the back, smoothing it down and then working it uh, a little bit at a time. So that's the wing, uh, the wing fairings. All right guys, so I'm just doing the left wing for now. Um, these pieces fit awesome. I did a little bit more sanding on them and then got them centered on the uh, install area and uh, taped around them. Now the install area, you can see the lines right there, are substantially wider, uh, especially on the upper part here. Like there's the, the install line there and then the other one's out there so they're substantially wider so I just got it centered in those install lines uh, the back ends a little bit narrower so I centered it in there and uh, taped around it so um, that's what the instructions say to do and next thing I'm going to do is mix up some micro balloons and probably 30 minute epoxy or maybe 12 minute epoxy something like that and uh, and basically get these installed so that is step number one, two, three, I guess. The other thing you want to do is make sure the wing is level. So right now it's actually not sitting really level. I probably want to get it up to about there. So I just have some bubble wrap underneath just so the, the epoxy and stuff isn't flowing back that direction. Uh, we'll be able to wipe it off, but um, we'll kind of want to avoid that. So I'd rather have it moving forward than backwards. So we need to get that raised up a little bit more. So. But uh, that's what we're doing. All right, guys, so I mixed up some 12 minute epoxy with uh, micro balloons, and it's a fairly thick concoction. Should work good. I, <coughs> excuse me. Should work good, good I think. Um, all right, let's do this. Okay, so we have our longer one, which goes on the outside, the skinnier one, or. Shorter one, which goes on the inside. Just confirm that. Yes. All right, so. So I'm gonna mark the length here. With a Sharpie, just so we don't go past that length with the uh, Epoxy mixture. Okay, and I want to make sure I got a decent amount in there so it flows and there's enough to actually glue it. Come on, thing. Okay, so we got a decent amount in there. It's already flowing towards the bottom, so that should work out just fine. And we'll just put that in place. And I've already got some tape to secure these things down. Okay, so it looks good. It's centered nicely in between the uh, 
in between the lines. Um, the other thing that I didn't point out here is I did do a little bit of sanding on the uh, on the area, just with some 80 grit sandpaper. All right, let's do the other one. So same thing, we're basically gonna mark it with the Sharpie and we won't go past that line with the epoxy. Now this is the same epoxy I was using to um, coat the formers in the plane. I actually didn't realize until just tonight that it was uh, 12 minute epoxy. I thought I was using 30. So I was wondering why it was uh, flashing off so quickly. And that's the reason. Okay, so I got a little bit more in this one, but that's fine. Get that installed. Okay guys, not overly excited about this uh, this tape, so I'm actually going to switch it out. Pull my gloves off. It's just not, uh, not very sticky, so... Alrighty. Okay, so take a look here. So that's what it looks like. We've got a little bit. So on this side here, when I replace the tape, um, it lifted a little bit, so. A little bit coming out there. We might have to touch that up with, uh, with some paint. Or once this gets slightly sticky, we'll, uh, if we peel that masking tape off, at least it'll be a nice clean line. So you definitely wanna mask off those areas. Um, otherwise, you might have some spillover. So, and we can see up in there, we got none coming backwards towards the flap, which is good. And we can see that it's uh, flowing down nicely and uh, looks good. Awesome. So, that worked out well, and uh, we'll let that cure. We're not going to move it around too much, and then we will uh, work on the other wing. All right, guys, it's been about an hour and a bit. And uh, I just removed all the tape and there's a little bit of cleanup to do around the perimeter of each one uh, Just where the tape was stuck down. So I just took an exacto knife and uh, the tape was overlapping some of the uh, Or the epoxy was overlapping some of the green tape So I just used my exacto blade and and just peeled it up a little bit and uh, and cleaned it up. So Otherwise it looks absolutely awesome uh, Very very happy with the results um, it's fairly cured right now, but I could probably rip it off if I wanted to. So it's got to cure probably till tomorrow to make it solid. But that is the final result. I think it looks really, really good. All right, guys. So uh, there's. Uh, I'm just doing the other wing, the right wing right now. I just glued the uh, the flap fairings on. And this is definitely a better way to do it, in my opinion. So just use a clamp, hold it on there. The nice thing about doing this is you can uh, clean up any glue that comes out the side while it's curing. So um, works well. I'd suggest doing it this way versus the tape that I showed on the first wing. All right, the flat fairings on the right wing are complete. Uh, that clamp setup was way better than the... Uh, than the uh, using the tape to hold it on. So I was able to fit the clamp in there, as you guys saw, clamp it down, and then uh, after the epoxy semi-cured, I guess, or, or cured, take the clamp off, clean up around it, because some of the tape sticks to the uh, sticks to the, the glue joint. Anyways, all done, looks great. Um, now moving on to the next step in the manual. Now the next step in the manual is the uh, nose tray which I have already completed. So that step is done. Um, next step in the in the uh, the manual is the nose gear door setup, which we will work on um, probably next. <laughs> 